Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. We have a question that came into customer service, and this is from Bill Munoz, and he says, in setting up for swing, do you preset your weight to the right foot, or do you do so when going up on the swing and up the tree? I'm 88 and had to give up golf for a few years due to back and hip problems, caused from rotational swing. After sw subscribing your lessons, the pain went away. Now I'm playing in tournaments once again. Thank you so much. Again, from Bill Munoz. Okay, Bill, the term, the term you're talking about is called preloaded heavy right. And I initialize that to PLHR. All right? So that is the optimum position we want to get into to make a, a, a good peak performance golf swing. Preloaded heavy right. Let's go look at the very first word. Pre. We're going to describe pre to mean before the swing. So therefore it is part of the setup. Okay? And so with that, with that in mind, hopefully we can start clearing this up because this question keeps coming through uh, now and then. And, and uh, let's, let's again just say pre means before. So that is it's before the swing, therefore part of your setup. So it's one of the setup fundamentals that you must have in your setup uh, before you swing to start hitting the ball. Remember our definition is the setup determines the motion. How your body moves is first determined by the position in which you place it to make the motion. So uh, that's, what we, that's part of what I call the search and, and, uh, and the never-ending battle and struggle to make sure that you are correctly set up before every swing because it is so important. And therefore, it is, it is uh, what we're searching for before every swing to have technical excellence in our setup because that's the only way we will be able to achieve technical excellence in our swing. Technical excellence, as I sometimes write it, T-E. Okay, so technical excellence in making a really good swing starts with the starts with your setup. So preloaded heavy right is the concept of when we when we when we set up to the ball. One of the last things I do is I as I walk into the ball and I get settled up here, I and I'm starting my waggle. I get set up to the right. I just take my weight. I take my belt buckle and just kind of move it like one inch this way, and make sure my spine maintains its maintains its 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 tilt to the right which is behind the ball now what the again I want to define what is the importance of preloaded heavy right well if we start our weight neutral dead centered and especially if it was over here to the left someplace where on more on your left foot than what people uh, especially some people are teaching today the point is is you have to start your swing with this with a weight tri weight shift or a weight transfer from wherever you are to getting your weight back on your right leg why do we want it on the right leg because because the right leg we should sit or sink into it the knee should flex a little bit more we put the weight on it just like the pitcher getting ready to throw the ball the tennis player getting ready when they come back they get on the right side and they and they throw the ball up and their weight goes their leg break uh, their weight goes down their leg flexes a little bit more and they they go up to hit it okay well what the whole key is is that they are presetting their weight on the back side before they before they actually start their motion which is going to go that way all right and we need to do the same thing because if once you set up neutral your weight starts with a shift the whole thing becomes we got a law of physics that says bodies in motion stay in motion direction they will put in motion to otherwise acted upon by an outside source. The outside source is you. So if you're if you're neutral or heavy left or whatever, and you start a turn and a shift, you get even if you're making a trying to make a perfect in the catcher's man and up the tree vertical swing. If your weight is starting to turn and shift here, where does it stop? Where does it stop going backwards? Well, you'd say, well, obviously it's going to stop when I make my transition the other way. But what if it goes? one tweak too far or it doesn't go far enough what if in doing that transfer your, your leg starts to straighten up because in doing that turn you, you're turning too much and it starts to pull the leg straight and you go backwards so now instead of sinking and, and going downwards so you can push off and, and be pushing off upwards so in our forward upswing forward upswing up where we swing up to the T finish if it goes up instead what's going to happen it's going to break downward first but the whole point is Bodies in motion, stay in motion, direction they'll put in motion. So the point is, is, is you now have basically a two-directional swing. If, you, if you're going to go ahead and have a weight shift back here, you got to get back here. Hopefully you get to the right place. Hopefully you're going to transition at exactly the right time and start moving forward. But if, you, if we get ourselves preloaded heavy right and we're here, we're already here. We're there. All we got to do is just take, let a little bit of turn 
and I think you'll find if you learn preloaded heavy right, which is just, as I say to a lot of folks, take your belt, just lift it up and go like that. All we're doing is, how far am I moving? Just, just an inch or so. If we're already here and we start to turn too much, you're going to start losing your balance. So right off the bat, I think preloaded heavy right gives us a, a really uh, good balance indicator that we are making too much of a turn. That is turning too far and getting too deep, letting the club too late off, whatever. Anytime we're going to get trouble with it, it's going to start showing up more if we are preloaded heavy right. So it's important in that set aspect. But ultimately what it's important for is if I'm already here, I just have to do what? I just have to turn and lift my arms up. I got this soft little turn in here. I'm sitting. Um, my weight is being received by the left, uh, by the rear leg, and and I'm sitting or squatting down a little bit. I see more. You feel more flex in the leg. You feel the all the muscles from the back of the knee all the way up to the up to the, up to the top of your of uh, your hips, and you feel it receive the weight. And then boom! All you have to do is transition. But the point now is, is I'm here. I'm staying there, receiving the weight, and then all I have is one direction change. Bam. So in the end, the, the effect of the, total, the totality of my, my golf swing is going to be, by starting preloaded heavy right, will be only one direction, forward. Just like most of the, the athletes, the pitcher, the tennis player, and other athletes, you get preloaded heavy right. So pre means before, so we do it in a setup. And if you do that, you're going to find that, that when you get preloaded heavy right, you're here, you feel more weight here. The brain can monitor the muscles that are engaged. When you're neutral or, or, get, or, or a little heavy left, or if you start turning and you start turning too much and you, you start going deep and swinging too long, your weight very likely will tilt back this way. The weight will be in your left leg. You can feel it here, but you won't feel the right leg. That's why most of us don't ever feel that. Our, le our right leg is straightening up and even locking in many cases, which is pushing you forward. So the key now is, is your brain will be able to more monitor your right leg because it's going to be engaged. The weight's already there before you started. And as you turn a little bit more, it's really gonna get there. You'll be able to, you'll be able to feel and sense the, the, the knee flexing, receiving the weight, and once it's received it, it can then push off, as we say, swing up to the forward, uh, swing up in the forward up, swing to the finish. Okay, so preloaded, pre before, we're going to do it in the setup. We're already there, so all we have to do now is just make a really good swing, load over and onto a flex rear leg, and then swing up. And when you do that, you'll start hitting it more solid straight, hitting more bullseyes off the tee and on, on all your shots to the greens, and start hitting more fairways, more greens, and shooting those lower scores. That's it for preloaded heavy right for today, and, and it's a great subject, a great topic, and I think it's a great position, and we're about, and peak performance setup is the only one that does it really effectively and, and does it as a mainstay of its setup action so that we can have technical excellence to make better swings and shoot those lower scores. That's it from the search for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.